सो हेलो एवरी वन आई एम अभिषेक आर्य एंड वेलकम टू दी सेकेंड सीजन ऑफ इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस एक्सक्लूसिवली इन आई लव मेटलॉजी चैनल टूडे वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट विद अस श्रेया मैम सी रिसेंटली क्रैक द इंटरव्यू राउंड ऑफ मेनी पीपल्स ड्रीम कंपनी टाटा मेटालिक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेरी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेसन मैम फॉर दिस ग्रेट अचीवमेंट वी आर रियली क्लीन टू नो अबाउट मच थिंग्स बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कुड यू टेल अस अ ब्रीफ अबाउट योर सेल्फ थैंक यू अभिषेक so i am shreya banerji from metallurgy department fourth year and i have been placed in tata metallics so this is basically about me and you have known me for quite some time right now and my major interest were in uh, core companies so and right now um, i am also working in nml so uh, that is one of the other companies that i am uh, in touch with So, I think that's all about me. Okay, so uh, we were really keen to know about like what was the over overall experience of the process of interview. Uh, like, what is your role there? What kind of how many how many of rounds? Uh, what kind of rounds are there in Tata Metallics? Yes. Uh, so there were three rounds mainly. First was the written round. It was divided into three sections. Firstly, aptitude, basic mathematics. Uh, second you had metallurgy that was basic physical metallurgy and iron making and thirdly we had uh, essay writing round so you were given a topic and you had to write an essay that was basically meant to check your verbal ability so the ones who cleared the written round they got a chance to uh, present themselves in gd so it was mainly a structured gd you were given a topic and then within 2 to 3 minutes you had to start speaking and the ones who cleared the gd rounds had to appear for an interview so it was in two parts hr interview and technical interview so according to me the whole process was uh, on a moderate level it wasn't quite difficult you just needed a little bit of practice and to clear all the rounds okay and uh, ma'am i got to know uh, you were an intern in tata metallics too so how was that experience and what kind of work you had to do there Yes so I got an offline internship in Tata Metallics so the internship is quite different from what you study in books I got a lot of field knowledge over there and my project was also based on a current situation that they were facing it was a crisis a real life crisis and so I had to deal with my managers and supervisors to come up with a suitable approach and solution to counteract the problem so it was quite different experience and it was really great i think every one of you should have a offline internship uh, so like uh, most of the people know tata but uh, most of the people don't know like what is the difference between tata metallics tata cummins or in fact tata steel so could you tell us yes uh, so according to me i think the main difference is in between the end products like for tata metallics they deal with ductile iron pipes for tata cummins they deal with engines and for tata steel they deal with various series of long and packed products uh, mainly steel products okay so uh, ma'am uh, this company is like core based so uh, from which topic they are like mostly focused on see i'm going to tell this to you from a broader point of view whenever a certain company comes in your college uh first research about the uh, about what the company deals with like if we talk about tata metallics they deal with ductile iron pipes so if a company is dealing with iron they won't be interested in steel or aluminum so i think you should focus on their products and study about that and then being a metallurgist physical metallurgy is an important part so when i prepared for this round for me i studied physical metallurgy from vijendra singh and uh, iron and steel making by ahindra ghosh i think those two books are more than enough to clear up your basics okay so uh, and for uh, like uh, how had you prepared for those core subjects like uh, tata metallics interview like must be really tough to crack like it's a dream company for people so any extra resources that you used to excel in core apart from your studies academic studies uh, see according to me I think as I mentioned those two books they were more than enough after that I resorted to certain youtube videos like nptel videos um, I think they are the best to clear up your basics if you are stuck in any point um, you can resort to them 
and then uh, with core you also have aptitude questions right so i think you should keep practicing apti from arun sharma lod1 is more than enough to help you crack any apti round in in, in most of the companies okay okay and uh, so i would like to know like how to make my cv more attractive so so that like these big companies can hire me okay so the thing about cv is that you give the interviewer a chance to know you so i think if you add certain projects to your cv like uh, companies like tata steel they provide vts for you people so i had done a vocational training from tata steel myself so i think if you have projects like these in your cv they are going to help the interviewer uh, get a idea about you and then your interview will go according to that okay so he will be asking you questions of, uh, about your project so you will be in a better position to answer him and you won't be completely clueless about what he is going to ask you and also one more thing about the projects that you mention in your cv make sure that you have done and uh, done them yourself because if you haven't then the questions they will be asking you you won't be able to answer them and that's going to get a negative impact okay and uh, ma'am is it worth to crack any competition related to core or one should like focus only on the studies or does cgpa play any role in this like see at the end of the day if you have a 10 point cgpa and you don't have a job i don't think it's doing you any good so studies and gpa means uh, until and unless you want to go in a research based career i think you should use what you have studied to crack these um competitions core non core irrespective i think your focus should be on getting a job okay and like cracking any competition won't help like core uh, competition uh these core competitions at the end of the day they help you crack your jobs uh they give you and uh, they give you ppo offers and ppi offers and if you are able to uh, give a great performance they convert it into full time jobs so at the end of the day they are also providing you jobs okay. and uh, ma'am apart from technical knowledge like is there any extra skill required i think communication skills are really important when it comes to interviews uh you should be confident at all times it's not important that you will know all the answers it doesn't happen that way uh but your confidence matters what your interviewer wants to see is how well you perform under pressure so if you are confident i think that gives a very good uh, idea about you okay and uh, like what you did how in what areas you improved yourself in your college life um i was never much of a team player before coming to college so after coming here i got myself into a lot of teams i started being a part of lot of organizing events um, so i think i made myself better in that area my communication skills improved i was good speaker but never uh, really very outgoing and confident so i think i improved myself in that part and my organizing skills have also improved so these add up okay and Uh, ma'am a lot of people are saying about uh, vts vocational training uh, like what is this like we don't know about much okay so vocational training is also something like internship uh, you are given a topic and you have to study about that topic um, that it's not like internship in a way that uh, you are not given a problem to solve in internships you have a current uh, life scenario problem to solve but in vts you are given a topic you are made to study about that in a more practical way so i think that's the difference and uh, you said uh, something about nml what is that ma'am uh, so nml uh, most of you will be knowing it's national metallurgical laboratory so i am doing my 6 months internship in nml right now so companies like these when you add uh, your uh, experience about these companies to your cv i think it really helps in upgrading it and as far as nml is concerned it is one of the most esteemed uh, metallurgical research laboratories in in india so nml came here to uh, provide internship or no no nml doesn't come on campus uh, you can go and apply to nml if you want to do a training 
So, what is the eligibility criteria? Um, I don't think there is an eligibility criteria. You have to be a metallurgical student. I think that's what is needed. Okay. So, basically, uh, in technical in technical knowledge, we need to focus on more uh, what Tata Metallics do instead of uh, studying overall things. And in uh, in soft skills, we need to improve our communication skills. Uh, so anything, anything, any more tips you want to give? Like I'm in a second year, uh, so any tips you want to give us, or overall? Yes. Um. See, you people are just freshers when it comes to college. So I would suggest that don't be very stringent when it comes to choosing your line. Like don't make up your mind uh, right in the first or second year that you want to go to core or non-core. Be open to opportunities because you never know which part will. Uh, light up your interest be ready to explore anything that comes in your way and be very receptive be eager to learn new things um i would say put yourself out there for any opportunities that are coming your way don't think like you are not interested so you don't want to be a part of it just give it a shot maybe you will like it okay okay yes yeah, sure Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thanks for joining us today, and it's such a great pleasure to have you. And uh, and thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you.